El Dorado CC location in the United States El Dorado CC location in California The 13th Ryder Cup matches were held November 6-7, 1959 at the El Dorado Country Club in Indian Wells, California. The United States team won the competition by a score of 8.5 to 3.5 points. The British were again led by Di Reese, but were unable to repeat the heroics of two years earlier and were comprehensively beaten on American soil. The Americans took a two and a half dash one and a half lead in the foursomes before finishing off the British challenge in the singles by winning five matches with two matches finishing all square to win the cup back. The British won just one foursome match with Christy O'Connor and Peter Alice beating Art Wall Jr. and Doug Ford by three and two in one singles match. When Eric Brown beat Kerry Middlecoff by four and three however by the time his match was won the United States had already won the competition. The Ryder Cup is a match play event with each match worth one point. Since the inaugural event in 1927, the format consisted of four foursome matches on the first day and eight singles matches on the second day, for a total of 12 points. Therefore, six and a half points were required to win the cup, and all matches were played to a maximum of 36 holes. This was the last Ryder Cup played under this format. Source, seven members of the British team were chosen using a Ryder Cup point system based on performances during the 1959 season. The first event was the PGA Close Championship starting on 8th of April with the final event being the Irish Hospitals Tournament finishing on 12th of July. The seven qualifiers were Hunt, Reese, Wheatman, Mills, Alice, Drew and O'Connor. The remaining three, Boosfield, Brown, and Thomas, were selected by the PGA Tournament Committee in late September, after the Dunlop Masters. The British team sailed from Southampton on 15th of October on the Queen Elizabeth. Mills had a back injury while the team was in Washington and was to be replaced by John Panton. However, he recovered enough to attend the event, although he was not chosen to play any matches, Hunt was also not in full health, suffering from bronchial trouble. The British team had a rough trip on a short flight from Los Angeles to Palm Springs and nearly all the players were ill, with some taking several days to recover. Two matches went to the last hole. Boros and Finsterwald were one up against Reese and Boosfield playing the last. The match ended when the British pair put their second shot in the water and took four to reach the green. Wheatman and Thomas were one up against Sneed and Middlecoff at the last. Sneed put his second in the water but rather than playing short, Wheatman also put his second in the water. Middlecoff then chipped to eight feet and Sneed hold the putt to win the hole and have the match. Wheatman received some criticism for his decision not to lay up. 18 hole scores, Rosberg slash Sushak, six up, Boros slash Finsterwald, 1 up, O'Connor slash Alice, 2 up, Sneed slash Middlecoff, 1 up. The Americans got off to a good start in many of the matches and had large leads in five of the matches at lunch. Eric Brown was the only British winner on the day. 18 hole scores, Ford, 1 up, Sushak, 4 up, Rosberg, 4 up, Sneed, 4 up, Wall, 5 up, Finsterwald, 5 up, Alice, 1 up, Brown, 3 up. Each entry refers to the win-loss half record of the player. Source, Jack Burke Jr. did not play in any matches. Peter Mills did not play in any matches. Thanks for watching.